Welcome to the Friday free-for-all edition of the Nightly Nuge. What do we have there, Mr. Nugent? Well, I'll tell you, Gibson made a great guitar back in 1962. Man, I love music. Don't you just love music? Thank God for music because music is the soundtrack for the ultimate sanctuary because killer, soulful, all-American, especially funk brother, and Ted Nugent music. Wait, that's one of the same. Ted Nugent funk brother music. Really soulful music. And we all know who the, who creates that. It literally takes us away from all the treachery in the world. So yeah. I want to thank everybody for supporting Ted Nugent Detroit Muscle Tour and the Detroit Muscle album on vinyl now, by the way. Which, by the way, the Spirit of the Wild record is also on vinyl right now. But thank you, everybody, for supporting my big, greasy, barbecue-infested, middle finger on fire, A-10 Warthog animal breeding soundtrack, all-American Detroit Muscle music for all these years. You realize, Keith, I've been playing killer rhythm and blues rock and roll now for over 65 years what the hell it's It's awesome awesome. thank you everybody you know what i love uh live music my family loves live music you know my son zach travels all over the world loves metallica and iron maiden and those things and my family and i we just saw the eagles uh last week they were in Mm -hmm. kansas city which was a ton of fun my buddy michael martin murphy's out doing his cowboy uh christmas tour uh which is always a big hit um And I'm just wondering uh, if you, as a younger man, went and watched concerts or who you sat and watched. And I'll give you a personal quick story. You know, uh, Dave Amato, the lead guitarist for REO. Monster. um, You were touring with them a few years back. And Dave Amata and I sat on a flight case uh, during your set. And I asked him, I said, do you often watch uh, other musicians play like this. And he said, you know, I always try to sit down and watch Ted when I can, because he admired you and respected you so much. And of course he's a great guitarist, as you know. And I just wonder if when you were younger, you went to concerts or as you were coming through the business, did you ever sit and watch other performers thinking, you know, that's really good. You know, I've always been, you know, inebriated, you know, stimulated, mesmerized, fascinated, intrigued, motivated uh, by music. Uh, certainly what Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley and Little Richard and the Motown Funk Brothers with James Brown, and Wilson Pickett and Sam and Dave. Oh, my God, the soulfulness, the piss and vinegar from those incredible geniuses has always inspired me. But I was inspired so early. I started beating on a guitar when I was about six or seven years old. Trying to get that Bo Diddley thing going on. Everybody, check it, check it, check it, check it. So I was so turned on by that. And as an as a kid who didn't know anything about anything, that grind, that that sensual uh, rhythm, it captured my spirit, my imagination. So to answer your question, I have witnessed one concert in my life. But I've performed almost 7,000 concerts in my life. So just like my comment often about spectator sports, I don't spectate. I don't watch. I did go and see. I, I opened up for Martha and the Vandellas and, and the Supremes. My band, the Lures, opened up for the Supremes with the Motown Funk Brothers right at my side because we played out on that concert when I was just a kid. So the only concert I actually went and bought tickets to see was in 1965 when my buddies Billy Lee and the Rivieras changed their name to Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. And they were playing their new hit song, Jenny Take a Ride. And they were coming to Chicago. (laughs) Just a grinding, throttling rhythm pulsation. And I went and watched those guys play, which imprinted on me. Uh, And I did watch a lot of films and videos like if everybody who loves music has got to see James Brown's performance and the Rolling Stones performance on the Tammy show. I think it was 1964 T.A.M.I. The Tammy show. I don't remember what those that moniker stood for, but watch James Brown. I didn't go to concerts, but I in my own spirit pursuit would emulate Chuck Berry, 
and the all the musicians in Mitch Wright and the Detroit Wheels, and certainly James Brown and the soulfulness of, of Sam and Dave. And we played all those soul songs in the bands, the Lourdes, the Amboy Dukes, even the, the damn Yankees, and to this day with my band. So I've never gone to concerts because I've been to so many. By the way, when I have when I have bands like Van Halen and ACDC and Foreigner and uh, uh, Sammy Hager, when they opened up for me, I would watch those shows because those are some amazingly gifted talented artists but remember the caliber of musicians keith that have been at my side forever when i'm on stage i look like i'm out of my mind but i'm actually maximizing my sensual radar picking up on the incredible talents of a Derek St. Holmes vocals and guitar, the amazing drums of, of, of all my uh, unbelievable Cliff Davies and, and Jason Hartless. And I could name my drummers and Rob Grange and Greg Smith and Marco Mendoza and Tommy. I mean, the musicians at my side, I'm delivering my songs with all my heart and soul, but I'm also absorbing the spirit of these incredible artists at my side. So I might not be in the audience watching them, but my position on stage with them, I'm actually experiencing that concert beyond anybody who has ever bought a ticket. And I love the ticket buyers, but I wouldn't settle for watching. I wanted to unleash my inner creative fire and I've been able to do it. And that's why I started out by thanking everybody. Thank you. I'm going to be 74 years old in a couple of weeks. Awesome. Tomorrow, Ted, for the weekend edition, I want to talk about uh, getting out to vote again. We've got another election down in Georgia that hunters could play a big part in. And I also want to talk about a bill that's percolating up in the Senate in Illinois that would prevent guns to be raffled off at uh, organizations like Hunter Nation and Ducks Unlimited and so on and so forth. That's what we'll talk about tomorrow on the weekend edition of the nightly nooch. <laughs>